Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about adaptive PS MPPT algorithm for solar PV system with the partial shading effect. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So, what's the, the difference between conventional PSO and the adaptive PSO? So, I will explain here. So, this is a PSO MPPT code for that been adaptive PS MPT port for solar PV system. So here you can see that so this is the PSO normal and that mean adaptive PS MPT a code here, right? A normal PSO or conventional PSO, the value of uh, that uh, inertia and then C1, C2. So always constant in conventional or traditional PS MPT. But in this uh, MPPT, I am going to vary the, the NHK value and C1C value so based upon a uh, different parameter. First, I am going to explain the NHK value going to be vary based upon the particle twist and uh, the average of the average fitness of the each iteration. Okay. So here you can see that we are going to compare the particle first value with the uh, the average fitness value if particle test is greater than uh, average fitness okay then the w is going to be taken the maximum value so 0.1 if suppose the particle test is less than or equal to average fitness then you have to calculate the inertia based upon this equation so w which is equal to w minimum minus w max minus w minimum multiplied with the population based minus Minimum fitness of that particular iteration divided by average fitness minus minimum fitness. So, if the condition that when particle based is less than or equal to minimum and that average fitness, then you have to calculate the inertia by using this formula. If suppose if both conditions not true, then inertia we are going to take which is equal to 0 0.05. So, this is a variation of inertia with respect to every iteration okay, it won't be very every iteration so it will be affected that means it, 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 it will be very that the velocity updation rule okay, for every iteration and also here you can see that we are having two parameter one is c1 c2 and then that means personal learning and the global learning coefficient right so the c1 c2 here going to be updated so every iteration so based upon this formula right so c1 we are here consider as 1.3 plus 1.2 the cost of y into k divided by 4 so 4 here is uh, total number of iteration i consider number of iteration for finding the maximum uh, global point or max that mean global duty cycle so here is considered as 4 iteration so k nothing but uh, iteration count that mean uh, every iteration count so based upon this value c1 c2 also going to be varied. so this parameter inertia and the c1 c2 parameter going to be adjust the velocity function in this equation so every iteration that velocity is going to be updated based upon that inertia c1 c2 and then population best and then global best value so this is the difference between uh, normal conventional PSO and adaptive PSO. So it will be adapted according with that uh, uh, value of C1, C2. So this is known as adaptive PSO MPPT for a solar PV system. So here in normal PSO, W, C1, C2 always constant. Here the W, C1, C2 will be very every iteration in order to find the global duty cycle for the solar PV system. So this is the code. We are implemented for adaptive PSO MPPT algorithm, and I am going to explain the model now. So this is the model we are developed for testing that adaptive particle sum optimization MPPT for solar PV system. So this PV panel consists of four cells, right? PV cell one, two, three, four, and each cell having max the maximum power of sixty two watts. Okay. And then here you can see that this is a voltage at maximum power point 30.96 and 1 by 4. That means the value around
sound point sound forward right uh, the maximum point is around sound point sound forward and then the current at maximum power point is 8.07 so here you can see that here sound point sound 4 okay so here you have four panel in series so sound point sound 4 into 4 which is equal to 30.96 okay uh, when the normal uh, standard uh, testing condition the voltage across that panel is around 30.96 and then current current from that panel is around the 8.07 okay so here this three panel connected in series not to create that right okay so here we are measuring that uh, uh, the current from the pv panel for pv panel and then we are measuring voltage across that uh, four pv panel so that will be given to the input for that uh, adaptive pos and vpt and then inside uh, here inside we are calculating calculating the duty cycle here okay so based upon this velocity adaptation equation that means uh, randomly we are generating the duty cycle initially and then it is sent to that uh, corresponding model and then every duty cycle it obtained the uh, voltage and current so by using that voltage and current we are calculating the power so here you can see that yeah <laughs> So, for every uh, duty cycle sense from uh, adaptive PS and VPT, we are calculating the uh, power. So, that power can be stored as a uh, particle burst. So, that mean for, for particular iteration, it uh, stored as a uh, particle burst for the particular uh, iteration. Okay. And then, uh, based upon then, after first iteration, after initial iteration, we have to find out the population based and global based and then going for iteration so iteration will be taken here so iteration will be start from here right so for global plus um, best and then uh, population best so we have to update the velocity okay and then you have to update the duty cycle by using this functions so after some iteration what happened uh, it will be adaptive PSO will be generated the global duty cycle and extract the maximum power from the okay so now i'm going to explain the system so here uh, you can see that this is boost converter is connected in between the load and the pv panel right so first i'm going to set the irradiation of all panel which is equal to 1000 right so here the panel rating is uh, 63 right so 63 once again, panel rating is 62.46. So 62.46 into 4 is around 240 and 250 watts, right? So maximum power can be attained at the standard test condition is 250 watts. Okay. So here I'm going to fix the irradiation of the hour panel equal to 1000. And now I'm going to simulate the model and then you have to check the results. So this is a variation of PV voltage and the load voltage. So this is a variation of duty cycle. So this is a PV power and the load power. So here you can see that after a 0.4 second drive, right, uh, the maximum power extracted from the PV panel by means of a adaptive POC MBBT okay, for the uniform irradiation. So here the four panel having same irradiation. Okay, so now I'm going to change the irradiation level. For example, I'm going to change the irradiation of second panel equal to 800. So we'll check this results of the adaptive PS and PPT. So here you can see that now also we are getting the maximum power, right? So, this is a duty cycle generated from the adaptive PSO and VPT. So, here you can see that we are getting around uh, uh, 205 watts power from the PV panel. Okay. 
so this is PV voltage and then this is load voltage this duty cycle from the type of TPS and VPT so this is PV power and this is load, load power right so next time we going to change the irradiation of the fourth panel equal to 800 again you have to check the results So now also we are getting the maximum power from the PV panel. Okay. So now we need to check the system with its dynamic change in irradiation. So for that, so I'm going to change change that that means I'm going to fix the irradiation for the panel one, two, three is one thousand, and fourth panel is I'm going to fix as uh, also one thousand. After some time, we need to change the second panel irradiation from 1000 to 800 watts per meter square and then we will check the results okay so now the maximum power extracted from the pv panel okay at the time of one second i'm going to change the irradiation of the second panel from 1000 to 800 watts per meter square so now we will check the results So for change in irradiation condition also we are getting the maximum power from the PV panel because of the adaptive PSO NDPT algorithm. So this is a working of adaptive PSO NDPT algorithm for solar PV system under uniform and partial shedding condition. So thank you, thank you so much for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you, thank you so much.